Hey, I just wanted to show you these peanut butter sandwich cookies that I just made. I'm going to walk you through the procedure and the recipe in just a minute. I'll take a look at what these look like right now. I'll be back with the recipe. So for the ingredients, you're going to need one and three quarter cups flour, one cup brown sugar, half cup white sugar, third cup of white miso, quarter cup of smooth peanut butter, one stick of softened butter, half a teaspoon of baking powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, one egg, some vanilla, and some black sesame seeds for your garnish at the very end. So I've sped up the speed of the video for the next few clips because there's not a whole lot here to do, but I want to walk you through the procedure so that you can do it as well. Now at the very start of this, I put the brown sugar and white sugar into my stand mixer along with my softened stick of butter. I got that combining, and then I want to go ahead and get that lightening up in color. Now right now you can see that the mixture is starting to stick to the sides of the bowl, so I stop it and I scrape down the sides of the bowl after about two or three minutes of it going through the mixing process. Now I want it to get light and fluffy, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it going for a few more minutes, scraping down the bowls every so often so that everything is incorporated and getting nice and fluffy and soft. Because if you don't get this mixture soft and fluffy and have some air in it, then your cookies are going to be very dense at the very end. So you need to go through this step. So the butter and sugar mixture is starting to lighten up and it's no longer sticking to the sides of the bowl. So that tells me that it's time to go ahead and add in my miso and peanut butter and to start getting this combined. This is going to go for only about 35-40 seconds to make sure that everything is combined, but you want to make sure, again, to scrape down the sides of the bowl and the paddle a little bit so that everything is getting mixed and combined. While that is combining, I have off-camera combined my dry ingredients and gotten my egg and vanilla into a single container. So I went ahead and I put in the egg and vanilla into my mixture and now I want to go ahead and make sure that everything is continuing to get incorporated before I come in with my dry ingredients in just a moment. So I'm going to let you watch the rest of this procedure here and I'll be back to show you the divvied up cookies. So the recipe that I showed you is going to make slightly more than 30 individual cookies. So I portioned all of them out, took five off of the tray, and froze them. I went ahead and got all of the other cookies doled out and partitioned, and I put black sesames only on half of them because that's going to be the top. Now here, this is the filling. You're going to need equal parts peanut butter and cream cheese and about two to three cups of powdered sugar as well as some vanilla. You put the cream cheese and peanut butter into your stand mixer with about two cups of powdered sugar. You're going to let that go until it starts to get smooth and combined as you can see it on the sides of the bowl doing right there. You want to add in a little bit more vanilla so that it's a little stiffer. If it's too runny, it's going to squeeze completely out of the sides of your cookie. And make sure that you add in a little bit of vanilla before you finish. Now you want to go ahead and let this chill while you are baking your cookies. And then once your cookies come out of the oven like this, you're going to see that they have gotten golden brown around the edges. Let them cool in the pan for just a few minutes to set that bottom before you pull them out and put them onto a rack like so. Now when you actually fill the cookies, you're only going to put filling on the top of the cookies without the black sesame seeds and then put the black sesame seed cookies on top. So that was how you make my peanut butter miso sandwich cookies with a peanut butter cream cheese filling and I cannot wait to dig into these right now because I have been working on them for so long. Mmm. Yeah. Uh.